it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts, Stamping Up demonstrator based in the UK. Today I am doing continuing with my Case the Catalogue and I'm on page 125 and I'm casing this card, not hugely but just the basic idea. This is, it's Top Tip Tuesday so it's a tip. So this is the one that I'm looking at. Um, it took me a little while to work out how this could be done reasonably easily. Um, I'm not convinced that I've got there yet, but I think I'm getting there. So this will be one of those, and here's one I made earlier, cases, because obviously things have to dry, because we're using Brusho. Now Brushos are retiring, so if you want these colours, you will need to get them before they've gone. And I say if you want these colours because we are getting something that I think is similar, but they are not in these particular colours. Um, they're in a variety of colours, but not in these particular ones. So there will still be some crystal colour, but not brusho. So um, I'm using the textured, tranquil textured, oh, it would be good if I could remember the names of these things, and they're about to go. Tranquil Textures Designer Series Paper, which is in the Retiring Annual Catalogue. I've got a bit of it left. Uh, this is not my first pack. Um, it's great for backgrounds, for scrapbooks, for cards, for all sorts. Um, and the strange thing is, when I saw this card in the catalogue, um, I thought, mm, I'm going to use something a bit, you know, dark. And so I pulled these papers. And then I realised that the paper that's been used in the catalogue is this one. So it is actually the reverse of this one, which is the one I'm going to use now. So who would know? Um, you know, a good demonstrator, probably. Um, so this used a combination of Brilliant Red and Prussian Blue to get this almost fresh fig colour. And then I've used uh, three of the faceted dots from the current annual catalogue, the one that is going to retire. And these are in Blackberry Bliss. So it picks up on that dark plummy colour. Um, and I'll be using these again because they've also got Mint Macaron and the version that I will be using will be not making macaron so much as soft sea foam, but it's that same sort of tone. Um, but mint macaron is in the papers. So this is a dirty project. I've actually got an apron on. Um, so I've also got a piece of, um, well, this is a craft mat. Actually, I don't know if it is a craft mat. I think it may be an oven liner, but it's the same basic idea. It wipes clean. It's heat resistant, it's sort of stain free, not exactly, but nearly. Um, so, oh, whoops, drop things on the floor. Um, I'm going to be using the carrying over thankful thought stamp set and this large thank you so much. Uh, I've just realized I need to cut some paper. Um, so I want a piece that is three inches by two and a half inches. It's a fairly arbitrary size. It's just a piece of paper that I know is the right size for what we're doing. Um, I will put those measurements on my blog, which is linked below. So I have cut a piece of the sort of Tranquil Tide and a piece of the um, kind of wavy. Although I'm going to go this way. Mm, or I might go. Mm, I might go that way, actually. I might go short and fat rather than long and thin. Why not? So I've cut that. I've got a soft sea foam card base. Even more reason why I will go that way because I'm beginning to like the tent fold rather than the uh, that way. So yes, right. Okay, so time for the gloves because um, I really don't want to get pressure all over my hands. I've got a team meeting this evening and that's really not a great idea. I say this evening. It will have happened by the time you see this. So, piece of um, watercolour paper. It might work on shimmer white cardstock. It might. I don't know. Um, but it might be worth a try. Uh, I've mounted my block, my 
stamp on my block. Um, and um, I decided that the easiest way to do this was to get your spritzer and very likely spritz, but you know, don't go mad, but likely, just so there's a sort of key for your powders. Um, oh, I don't want that one because I want to go more for the moss. Um, yeah, probably just moss actually. There is some, there are powders everywhere on my desk at the moment and on my hands and everywhere. So, but you're just adding not too much. Um, and I might put in a little bit of a very small amount of Prussian blue and a very small amount of, actually I might go gamboge because I like saying gamboge. If you hear a cat crying, uh, it's one of our cats who walks around with a soft toy in her mouth and when she walks around with a soft toy in her mouth, she cries. Um, go figure. Right, and I'm going to just spritz a little bit more. Don't want to go mad. I discovered that going mad doesn't work. Um, and then have the courage of your convictions. Say a few words of help. And there you go. So that, when it's dry, we probably need a bit more colour there which you can probably do just by adding a bit with your finger, dare I say. Um, the main thing now is, as I say, pop that to one side to dry, but you can see how that works. It does take a little bit of practice, um, and clearly I haven't quite got there yet, but it's close. Um, it's a bit, I have got some that work, or have worked, uh, because in blue, true blue beat of fashion, I will bring one in that works. Um, this is just water, but it's in an old uh, spritzer bottle. Um, it's just for cleanup. It's quite good to have something that's got a bit more water in it because you do want to get these off reasonably quickly. Uh, it's not a desperate thing. And because it's red rubber, they don't stain. I would not recommend doing this on photopolymer. I have done it on photopolymer in the past and my photopolymer stamps were incredibly stained as a result. Uh, so I really would not recommend it. You can. Um, there is absolutely nothing to say you can't. I don't think I would do it again, is all I would say. Personally. And really, to cl the clean-up is just as simple as get all the crystals activated so that they'll run. And then pop it into there where I see, apart from the fact it's got water on it, that's actually now clean. So I shall pop that to one side to clean up finally later. Let's get rid of anything on here. Oh, and I was going to put a piece of paper down to collect any stray crystals, so we'll just have to hope there weren't any. Right, okay. So let's get rid of the gloves and make the card. But yes, so today's top tip is basically look outside the box. Don't just assume that something is only for one purpose um, because that's one of the ones I made earlier. That's another of the ones I made earlier. As I say, it's a bit, you know, you have to give it a go and see what happens. Um, that was one that went wrong. So you've got two sides. This one worked first time. Guess which one I'm going to use. Um, so, the only other thing I would say is when you've done them, get yourself a piece of um, kitchen paper and just get the last of the... If there are any crystals that are not completely activated, get rid of them because otherwise they will um, stain things. Right. So, as I say, this is just um, my usual size first mat in designer series paper rather than in card. Uh, because sort of, this is a solid colour, I mean, as in it's not highly patterned, I'm very happy to use it as a mat that is only going to show a small amount. Um, 
I would again strongly recommend that if you have got these kind of textured papers that um, you don't just think of them as a pattern, think of them as a solid as well. Actually, the, there's a bit of pink and I want that at the bottom. I don't know why, don't ask me why, but I do. So there we go. Now this is watercolour paper, so that I'm going to stick on with um, multi-purpose adhesive because it's heavy um, and I don't think that snail would do. And I'm going to use a reasonable amount of glue, much more than I would normally use purely because it is slightly not flat um, and I think it would be better if it were adhered with liquid adhesive and quite a good quantity. So I'm just going to press that down from the back like that. Now our faceted gems, dots, sorry, dots, and my piercing tool, this will be going. This only is only available while it's in stock or until the end of the current catalogue. So I'm just going to pick up some of these mint, I think they're mint macaron, I don't think they're soft sea foam. They look more mint macaron than soft sea foam to me. Um, and I'm going to go in a, a sort of triangle. And this is a great time. If you've got a few stray um, flecks, this would be the per perfect time to cover them up. Fortunately, on this one, I don't. Uh, there. It's fairly arbitrary. Uh, I like triangles, particularly around a sentiment or a focal point. So that is this card. Obviously, I would put a liner in it before I sent it anywhere. Even on soft sea foam, I would put a liner in. Um, but I save my cards and send them to an individual. And I write my liner before I stick it in my card. That way, if I make a mistake in my liner, I don't have to throw the card out. Or try and get the liner out. So there we go. As I say, they are simple cards in, as in design. Um, if you're not into having a go with the brush show, obviously just use inks. What might be actually quite fun just to have a go while we're here. Um, let me, this is just a, a piece of Whisper White. I'm going to just have a little play. So, uh, let's see, what am I going to grab? Um, let's have a bit of that, a bit of that, and a bit of that. I know, weird, huh? Um, and some sponge daubers. So, I think that's mint macaron. Yep, mint macaron. Nope. Melon mambo. And rich, rich razzleberry. So let's see what happens if we, actually we'll start with mint macaron because it's the lightest. Because what I want to see is if we can get a similar look with just inks. So I'm just, you know, splodging. And this really is just off the bat. Um, I have not even begun to plan this, so it may be a complete and utter failure. But we'll give it a go. Right, Melon Mambo next, because it's the next lightest. So I don't mind putting a bit of mint macaron into the corner of my Melon Mambo. So that's my Melon Mambo, and then a rich raspberry everywhere where I don't have a different colour. As I say, this is completely unplanned and random, um, and will probably end up looking completely unplanned and random. I'm just going to spritz very gently, just so that it's a little wetter. 
And this is just ordinary Whisper White cardstock, but let's see what happens. I'm slightly frightened. Yes, it's almost the same. So give it a go. Get those spritzers out. Get some spritzers, get some sponge daubers. Um, get your brushos, absolutely, why not? Um, and have fun making splodgy thank yous. I love it. Um, so anyway, after which, I hope you enjoyed that complete and utter madness. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you don't already subscribe, uh, do click the bottom in the the bottom in the the button in the bottom right hand corner. I need to go and have a drink, I think. Um, nice soothing cup of tea, probably. Um, so hit the button button in the bottom right hand corner. If you need any of the supplies, they are listed below. Um, I'll try and remember which colours inks I've used for, for the randomness. Um, and if you want to see the blog post with some close-ups, uh, there's a link below. It takes you to the associated blog post and that's this. So go and have a look at that. Um, and yes, thank you very much for joining me. I'm sorry, this has amused me more than a little. Thank you so much. Oh, and I've said it again. Bye!